a beautiful rendition. of metal. Later that same day, he explains what happened. After the first uh, first lap, I went to a very fast right-hander, and uh, I turned in three quarters of a car length in front of uh, Steve Easton. At that stage, it was more than that. Steve just left his braking too late, made contact with me on the back right corner of the car, and uh, that was enough to put me over. We are doing 85, 90 miles an hour. A crew member removes the keys from the ignition and McGuigan, led to the sidelines, is cheered by a sympathetic crowd. You'd think this ex-boxer would have had enough of racing. Not on your life. Two weeks later, with a new car, he was back behind the wheel. Here he is in last place, trying to gain on the other drivers. But any minute, McGuigan is going to give us a repeat performance. Barry's on the outside of us. Thomas, he's got very, very cross. He's on one infield. Oh, dear. It looks as if he has rolled it. Please, Thomas. 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 Please,
He swerves sideways in between the two other cars and heads towards this marker, knocking it over in its path. He flips, rolls, and this time finds himself on his side. Once again, here's what McGuigan had to endure from the driver's seat. Oh, it looks as if he has rolled it. It's remarkable Barry McGuigan walked away from both accidents. Two times too much. McGuigan hung up his racing gear and gave up the sport for good. More tumbles in this next video. This time it's a high speed boat race where, you guessed it, a boat traveling at a high rate of speed loses control and wipes out big time. At the Lake Fest Drag Boat Races in Marble Falls, Texas, there's a fascination with acceleration. When the boats hit the starting line, it's full throttle action. Drivers rocket down the liquid track at speeds up to 170 miles per hour. races goes off without a hitch, but these smooth waters are about to get choppy. Race fans roll tape from both sides of the track. Gus Ward, piloting teacher's pet, revs up his engine for the second heat, but this time Lady Luck is not in the passenger seat. 1,000 feet down the track, something goes wrong. Crashes at a heart stopping 130 miles per hour, the boat literally disintegrates. Precious moments tick by as rescue crews filter through the watery wreckage. Rescuers pull him to safety. Take another look in slow motion. Halfway down the track, the boat starts to rock. It makes a hard right and then barrel rolls. The fiberglass hull shatters, sending the motor skipping across the water. When you're making a drag boat run, bear in mind, it's anywhere from seven seconds or less from start to finish. It doesn't give you much time to think anything. And when I knew the boat was breaking up around me, I thought, folks, I'm fixing to get wet. That's all I had time to think. A little soggy and slightly injured, Gus walked away from the accident. He's not walking away from racing. After watching this video, it's hard to believe, but Gus is ready to climb back into the cockpit. Would you really like to do it some more? We're not quite through with drag boat racing yet. Gus said he felt... Tonight on the world's most amazing video...